Hey guys, welcome back to Live Review. I hope you're doing very, very nice, and I'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you. In today's video, I'm going to be recommending 15 thriller dark crime fiction books. Honestly, I feel like a lot of things come under the thriller genre within fiction genre. There's dark thrillers, there's psychological thrillers, crime thrillers, mystery thrillers, and so many. And I can't really make separate videos for each and every genre. I will probably in the future, but I don't think I've read enough books to actually make one video for every genre. That is the reason in this video, I'm simply going to be recommending thriller books and they will be like mystery, crime, psychological, dark, everything. So grab your popcorn, sit back tight, get ready to get some dark, thrilling recommendations that will move you. Yeah, I think that became a little dramatic, but I'm like really excited about this video because I love this genre. The first book that I want to recommend is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. And I have recommended this book a lot of times before. I used to be a nonfiction reader, but then I got this book as a gift and I was like, oh, let me just dive into it especially because look at look at the cover it is gorgeous and this is the story of two sisters one of the sisters has died they used to hate each other basically they never talked before the sister died and when Jules the sister that is alive comes to know that her sister is dead she has actually received a message like a voicemail on her phone which says that you know the dead sister really needs to meet her and now Jules is like afraid she has no idea what is going on and this is the book that demystifies the mystery of how Nell which is the sister that died died and what happened and what's the whole story now this book has a lot of narrations like a lot of multiple narrations so it's a little confusing to read but I'm telling you I was not a fiction reader when I started reading this and still it was a lot of fun for me so if you are into reading already even if you haven't read a lot of narrations before and something like that you can pick it up but you will be a little confused but the thrilling part and the mystery is a amazing till the last freaking line you don't come to know what actually happened and it goes beyond the whole mystery part it's a very very beautiful story so if you want to read something like that pick it up next up we have behind her eyes by sarah pinro now this book i read in june and i completely forgot to actually mention it uh, in my wrap-up video i read it as an audiobook i suggest you read it, read it as an audiobook the book is a little expensive but if you can buy it then amazing for you and i can't like tell you a lot of things about the book but let me just show you how i was after i finished the book oh my god 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 i'm using oh my god here so many times but i actually said fuck these these many times when i finished the book because there are kind of I can't tell you anything about the book oh my god but it is like if you look at it or if you, or if you like look at the blurb it is basically just it it's like a normal story of a woman who is really suspicious of her husband you know whether he's cheating her on her or not but I'm telling you this book is crazy so if you want to read something extremely dark and thrilling and you don't want to know what the answer is till the end i'm telling you you won't be able to find out who the answer which is like to the question oh my god i'm so confused right now because i can't give away anything there is literally nothing i can say about it but it is very easy to read the language is very easy the entire story is very enjoyable you won't know the mystery till the end but just one thing to remember is that if you are not like if you are very very realistic and you want everything realistic only then you may not enjoy the book or you may not like the ending you will be like hey what the hell you what was this what was this you may be like that but if you're okay with that if you accept the imaginative powers of the author and the entire story then you're going to like love me after reading this book the next book is the heist artist by Vish Dhami Jha. this is the story of Vak Pratap Singh who is a con artist and he's trying to like leave that entire con industry and he wants to lead a normal life but he gets an offer to do another con project and the money that he gets from that is like huge and he's like if he's able to acquire that money then it will be easy for him to start his new life but this new project is not just like any con project it becomes life threat thre threatening threat threatening and uh, Val has to grow go through everything but it's a it is such a nice story so this i think uh, you know 
classifies as a crime fiction though Vish Dhamija is famous famous for his legal fiction but I think this is crime fiction it is amazing the writing style is very very easy it's so simple I'm telling you like when you read it or when you look at it from far away you'll be like it's so simple but there's a lot going on in the book it is not just about the project it is about a lot more things if you're a beginner in the thriller world you don't want to be like completely mind boggled straight away and you like like crime kind of thrillers then this is the book for you the next book is my sister the serial killer by the name that i can never pronounce so just hold on by owen khan breath brathwaite brathwaite uh, now this is the story of two sisters the younger sister is a serial killer the elder sister is always cleaning up her younger sister's mess like all the time but things become interesting and go kind of crazy when the younger sister starts dating the crush of the older sister it is very very short to read so if you don't have a lot of time if you're like you want a very fast paced book then this is the book for you the language is very easy but again it's very like so if you're completely new to the reading world you may be a little confused but only a little confused not like a lot the next book is murder on the orient express by agatha christie and you guys know i've talked about this book a lot before also this is the story of the orient express where there are 14 passengers one of them dies and the detective that is on the train has to figure out who the killer was because the straight the train is stuck in snow very simple plot line but i am telling you you won't be able to guess the killer till the end the writing style is amazing agatha christie is like Mm, like she's awesome and it is all though mingled up and uh yeah like i was like in the beginning i was like i'm not able to build up like it's not building up to anything what is happening i don't understand but in the ending i was like whoa and i was like what the hell was going through agatha christie's brain that she was able to write this piece of art next up we have sadie by courtney summers now i listen to it as an audiobook and i highly recommend that you listen to it as an audiobook because the experience is crazy good now this is a story of sadie and her younger sister has died who, uh, who is maddie and she has been killed and now sadie wants to find out who the murderer was and she's affected in a very very like bad way like mentally so she has she's doing some stuff stuff basically to find out who the killer was and again the thing is that about thriller books guys because i think i'm repeating this thing again and again there is not a lot that i can tell you guys about the story because then i will give away a spoiler so again this is the blurb but there's a lot going on in the book but uh, why I'm recommending this is again the ending is oh uh, like it blows your mind and two I'm highly recommending it as an audiobook I have recommended it before as an audiobook only because that experience is like completely crazy I am so energetic today because there's a little bit of sunlight <laughs> Next up we have I Am, I Am, I Am by Maggie O'Farrell. Now this is not a fiction book. It is non-fiction. It is uh, the author's experience with near death. It is the author's uh, 17 near death experiences. Now this is not exactly a thriller but it is thrilling because the near-death experiences have been explained with such attention to detail that it boggles with your mind and you're like <gasps> like every single time like in every single um, story so this is like a memoir but it is a lot of fun to read and it just becomes more fun because it's all real <laughs> everything else is fiction this is all real so if you want to read something like that non-fiction it's easy to read but a little complex because of the words that have been used like a few words are difficult so that may be a little troublesome you may have to do a little bit of google search that is it but apart from that if you want to read something real and thrilling this is the book for you the next book is gone girl by jillian flynn i hope that's how you take the name again a very very dark book there is a movie also based on the book the movie is nice the movie also is like very very dark the book is darker of course and it is the story of a woman she disappears one day but like she did suspect was i supposed to tell that i don't know and the guy is like where is my wife like has she been kidnapped has she been like has she died what what is going on so this is the basic plot line just hoping i did not give give away give away a um, spoiler and it is one of the darkest books i've ever read it is like gruesome i'm telling you it is disgusting at certain points 
so if you can take it read it next up i want to recommend an author which is dan brown dan brown is very famous for his uh, thriller books i have only read one book and that too like long back so i don't want to basically recommend a book without reading it but you can read any book by dan brown i'm pretty sure you will not be disappointed origin inferno angels and demons da vinci code a lot of people become readers because of that uh, da vinci code so yeah next up we have bird box by josh uh, mallerman now this is the story it is very very relatable actually especially during this lockdown because even in that book uh, people are at home they are not going outside because there is a creature that is um, you know what like possessing the people because of which people kill themselves so you cannot be possessed by that creature and that is the reason you are not supposed to go out of the house that is basically one thing but then there is this woman uh, and she has children and she has to take care of them and reach a place that is completely safe for all of them again i haven't read the book but i have watched the movie so in the book i'm pretty sure and one of my friend anjali says that the book is way more than what the movie is so that is the reason i'm recommending it again it is dark but more than dark it is extremely thrilling next up we have sniper's eye by manak dhar this is the story of a man who was leading a very very normal mundane life until one day he goes out to a theater and somebody gets shot now suddenly his past is uh, coming out of the closet and we see that there are a lot of things that we did not know about this normal man and then he gets involved into it and then it is the whole story of you know what his past was how it is affecting his future who was the sniper and all those kind of things i love this book so much it is also by an indian author lovely I, it was sent to me as a review copy lovely i loved it a lot so if you want to read something simple yet mysterious this is the book for you next up we have death and dishonor by abhimanyu saxena now this is the story of a man arjun who was ha having like a very nice happy life <laughs> but then something happens because of which his whole life is disrupted he's become this person who has just victimized himself and he's just diving into his loneliness and everything bad however because of the similar situation he has to get back up and he has to fight he has to do a lot of things to uh, kind of demystify i'm using the word demystify so much in this video demystify the mysteries he wants to know a lot of things so he has to do a lot of things because of which he gets caught up in the middle of a lot of mess and everything so it's a very honestly i love this book because of how how many twists were there like every single time when i i could i would feel like okay fine now i am getting a hang of the story that it's going to go this way it would start going on this way so that is one thing that i loved but this is just the first part it is a part of the series abhimanyu if you are watching this you better come up with a second book very very soon or me along with everybody else who's going to read this book is going to come after you <laughs> because this is just the first part so if you are okay with waiting and uh, you know you're okay with series pick this book up the language is very easy next book is the prisoner of yakutsk by shreyas bhave now i don't have the book right now but i did have it this is the story of how the conspiracy of how uh, subhash chandra bose netaji died and along with that there is another story going on where jay's grandfather yeah i guess grandfather had died now there are two storylines but then they kind of meet after a few pages it is a political thriller and again it is easy to read it is but it will take you time to kind of like dive into the book so uh, you know it captures you a little late but i'm pretty sure that you know if you're a very curious person and you want to know what happens next then you will love the book once you are sucked into it then you will love the book but it just takes a little bit of time for you to like completely dive into it that is one thing the language is easy but again because of the different timelines and different narrations it may be a little confusing using for you if you are a beginner so these are the two things to keep in mind but apart from that it is a lovely story so if you want to read a political thriller this is the book for you the 14th book is i had my voice by parinosh uh, saini now this is not exactly a thriller but it is dark fiction it is also known as domestic fiction but as i told you there are a lot of genres that come under thrillers and i did not want to miss this one out this is the story of shahab uh, who is mute like he doesn't talk 
and his mother is always supportive but his father and everybody else is always telling him that he's retarded and everything because of that he has a notion in his mind that every single child who is retarded are the children of their mother and every single child who's like super smart and <laughs> all that stuff they are the children of their father so he does not accept his father to be his own father he thinks that his father is the only he is only the father of his brother who is excellent at, sc at school but then this is his journey of discovering his own voice uh, as much as it is very dark it is very very dark for a child to be like this i loved how the author was able to go inside the brain of such a young uh, child and you know explain everything it was dark but it was also very like emotional there were so many points where i was like oh my god oh my god it was really really nice so that is one thing that i loved how innocent yet dark this book was and apart from that i feel like i learned a lot of things about how children can be and you know their psychology so yeah this is can this can also be known as a psychological thriller so if you want to read something like that the language is very 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 easy it's a beginner friendly book you can pick this book up as but not the least i want to recommend seven husbands of susanna or suzanne Susanna by Ruskin Bond this is the story of the seven husbands of um, just like the title suggests but they are all dying in a very mysterious way that is basically like the only thing that i can say about the book and for anybody who doesn't know this book is also adapted to a movie which is Saat Saat Khoon Maaf now again this book is very very dark but it was a lot of fun to read how they're all dying <laughs> how they're all dying and shit like that so yeah again of course by Ruskin Bond so it is very easy to read oh yes I had to let you guys know that uh, there is this initiative that I have taken on my Instagram which is known as dear with liberal review so I am going live for 15 minutes every single day twice a day all the information is there on my Instagram handle so you can go and check it out the link to my Instagram is in the description and I go live every day and then people join and then we all just read together so i took this initiative because it was there in my school so it was kind of like a callback and i started reading because of this because when we read just for 15 minutes every single day you tend to create the habit the first session was there today and it was amazing i loved it so if you want to join me over there please come on instagram and check out all the details and join me that is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video please do subscribe share like bell button all the good things and i'll see you guys soon Bye.